Hello everybody, I'm Christy and today I have a Dollar Tree Empties video for you guys. These are all the products that I used up that came from Dollar Tree in the month of July. So these videos have a tendency to run pretty long. I understand if you'd like to go get a snack and a drink, just go ahead and pause right here. I will try to make this as quick and painless as possible, but stick around and I will let you know what I think about these products. If you're not subscribed, I would love it if you went ahead and done so. Check the description box below. I'll have plenty of links, suggested videos, and my Instagram name if you'd like to follow me there. So let's go ahead and get started. I do have tons of new items that I have not reviewed in the past, so that should be exciting. I'm going to start out with the bread because I know a lot of you guys don't have it and I will zoom through. But we went through tons of bread products this past month. These were the Thomas mini bagels in the blueberry briley. Absolutely adored these and for a dollar you cannot beat that price. We also went through several of the Arnold sandwich thins. These are just thin slices of like little rounds that you can make your uh, sandwiches with. These were the whole wheat. We also went through a honey wheat. I'm not sure what the other one was, but it was a green pack. But again, another amazing deal. We went through a uh, Sara Lee artisanal bread. A dollar, amazing deal. It was delicious. We loved it. And we went through one of the Sara Lee butter breads. Also great. If you get a chance to find bread at Dollar Tree, go ahead and pick it up. You will not beat the price anywhere else. Okay, a couple of non-food items. <laughs> went through two of the nighttime sleep aids. These are comparable to the Zequel. You get four fluid ounces in each. These are the ones that do not contain alcohol, so I do better with these than I do the normal Zequel. Anything with alcohol in it makes me extremely groggy the next day, and all I want to do is sleep, and I'm grumpy, so nobody wants that. So I pick these up, so for four ounces, a dollar, great deal. These last about uh, four or five doses. It just depends. Uh, it says it's non-habit forming, not for treating the cold and flu, unless you want to sleep it off. But anyways, these are the ones I get and I love those. We, we also used several of our glow in the dark products that I pick up at Dollar Tree and you'll see them in my hauls. This is one of them. It was the little plastic glove. It's two separate pieces. So your glow in the dark uh, activators are in this. You pinch them, then it fills up this whole glove. You stick it inside this glove, and then you have your glow in the dark piece. So it looks like this. Um, I mean, it's just a cheap plastic glove, guys, but we played clap hide and seek and tag and stuff in the backyard. The other night, I did insert those uh, videos in one of my videos. I can't remember which one, but we did enjoy this. It was really fun. So I would probably repurchase that, especially on nights that we're going to play in the backyard. It was fun. We used the glow in the dark beach ball that day too. Um, they were sort of using it as a volleyball, so they busted it. But let me tell you, they played hard with that thing. If your kids aren't as rough as mine, this could last a long time. It does have like a hole in the end of it where you insert your glow stick. You can buy the glow sticks at Dollar Tree and I think it's like four or six in a pack. So you can constantly just replace your glow stick and have the ball. We do have another one of these luckily and a pack of the glow sticks. So we'll be playing with that. But this was a really cute little $1 item and we enjoyed it. Went through several of these. I have hauled these and reviewed them probably in every video for a year now. These are the good and clean wipes. Always look for the bonus pack so you'll get more. This one I got 30 instead of 24. This one is the lemon scent. They also come in two other scents. I think um, a fresh scent and a lavender. These are comparable to the Lysol wipes. If you do pick these up instead of Lysol wipes, when you're finished with the container, just take the lid off. There will be some liquid left in it and you'll want to pour that into your next one. That way they stay good and moist and they don't dry out. But I love these and I pick them up all the time. That's all I'm going to say about them. I used up one or two of the Fab. This is the classic laundry detergent. It's in the Spring Magic scent. 
it's for 40, no, it's 40 fluid ounces. And this one doesn't tell you how many loads, like most of them do. Um, it smells pretty good. I used this on my towels and stuff like that when I washed those. <laughs> but now I have started doing some couponing and I get my detergents for mere pennies and sometimes free. So I will not be using this again, although I do recommend it like for your socks and sheets and stuff like that. But I've got tons of Tide guys, so I'm gonna be using it from now on. I did go through one of these. This is the LA's Totally Awesome Drain Opener. I've not had any of their products that I didn't like. But I was not a huge fan of this one. They do have another one. This one says new concentrated formula. It did not open up my sink. I think the men in my house are shaving their beards and then just washing the hair down the sink and uh, that's clogging it up. So this one did not work that well for me. I need to find their other one. There's, they have it in the store. I just need to get it. It works better than the new concentrated formula. So I won't be buying this one again. I'll be buying the old formula if they still have it. So just be warned, this one didn't work for my sink. Okay, let's bounce back to a few food items. These bad boys are in store right now. I think there are three or four different flavors. These are the Way Better Snacks. They're like little tortilla chips. These are the Avocado Ranch. They were amazing. These are the two fluid ounce. Me and Chris and Briley both ate them while we were watching TV. I mean, it's not like there's a ton in here. Um, it says whole grain corn tortilla chips with the sprouted flax, quinoa, and cheese chai seeds. Non-GMO, gluten-free. What else does it say about it? No, I don't know. These are good. If you smell of them, they remind me of... Uh, the Cool Ranch Doritos. That's what they smell like. And the flavoring that's on them tastes like the Cool Ranch Doritos, except they're on a different chip. These are delicious. I just picked up the sweet chili or spicy chili. We're gonna try it. I'll let you guys know how it is. But uh, I think there's also a cheddar. These are good. If you've not tried them, give these a shot for a snack. Loved them. <laughs> Only went through one of these, and these are the Coastal Bay Orange Slices. Coastal Bay is, I'm pretty sure, a Dollar Tree brand. Yeah, it's a Greenbrier product. They make great candy. Their candy, to me, is comparable to the name brand. This was delicious. These little orange slices right here. Loved them. I also love their little, um, is it Mellow Cream or Mellow Cream pumpkins? The little autumn pumpkins that come out soon. Super excited. Those are better than Brock's because they're softer. I absolutely love them. Um, I've not tried the candy corn yet, but I will when it comes out this next time. But you might want to give Coastal Bay products a try. I really recommend them. They're delish. Went through two of the Vlasic pickles. These are the Kosher Deal Stackers. The purely pickles with no artificial flavors, no artificial colors, um, zero calories, all that good stuff. This is the big container, the 16 fluid ounce. We went through two of these, and I think I still have two more. We love to put these on our um, sandwiches or even our wraps. I think they are gluten-free. Yeah, they're non-GMO and they are gluten-free. These are still in stores and they are well worth a dollar. They're absolutely delicious and you're not going to find them anywhere else that cheap. So if you see them and you like pickles, you might want to pick them up. I ate one of these. Um, these were out last month i believe and i picked up a pack that was only like three or four in it these are the rice crispy treats in the cookies and cream variety they were just the little ones um and you can ride on them you know if you put them in your kids lunchbox but i wanted to eat one to see how good they were they were covered in like a white chocolate on the bottom or whatever i would call it white chocolate and i detest white chocolate so i wasn't a fan of these and I don't think the kids would eat them either, so I would not repurchase these. It doesn't have a picture. I would show you what the bottom looks like, but it was just coated in like, it was or it was like dipped in like a white chocolate kind of thing. Nope, 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 nope. Can't do white chocolate. And we finished up one of these. This is the Chestnut Hill 
rich and crisp crackers, light and buttery. These are, this is a huge box and I've never seen these at my store before. Um, these are like the townhouse Keebler crackers. They were delicious. They were so good that I bought another box. They're all gone in the stores and I can't find them anymore. But if I ever see any big boxes like this, again, I will definitely pick these up. They had no horrible aftertaste. Like, you know, some crackers will taste like cardboard or leave this nasty aftertaste in your mouth afterwards. These did not. They taste very similar to the Keebler crackers and I will definitely repurchase these. As you can see, my family went through some Pop-Tarts. When I say family, I mean Chris and Preston went through some Pop-Tarts last month. These are still in the store. I was there. It is the first week of August and my store still has the chocolate fudge Pop-Tarts. Guys, if you need Pop-Tarts and you like Pop-Tarts and your family likes Pop-Tarts, then you might wanna check Dollar Tree because a dollar is a great price. Um, these were all the chocolate fudge. They ate several of those. This one is absolutely Chris's favorite, hands down. He eats these. Even if I have to pay full price, I pay full price because he loves these. Um, but I just wanted to let you guys know these are still out there the first week of August. I picked two boxes up today and then I put them back because the amount of Pop-Tarts that I have in my stash is embarrassing. <laughs> We also went through just one, because we have all the other ones, of the toast on pop-ups. This one was the two, you get two extra pastries, so you get eight in this instead of the normal six in the toast on pop-up brand. But these are the frosted blueberry, and this is probably Preston's second favorite or favorite now. I'd say probably his favorite because he eats a lot of these. So these are really good, and honestly, I like these better the uh, blueberry and I think the strawberry, I like them better in this brand than I do Pop-Tart brand. Just saying. <laughs> Went through many, many, many Barilla pasta noodles. A um, dollar for pasta noodles, especially Barilla, is a good deal. I know occasionally I can find them on sale at Kroger or somewhere like that, but rarely is it Barilla for under a dollar. So when they have it at Dollar Tree, I pick it up. This is the elbow macaroni. I use this to make my macaroni salad. I'll link that video below if you'd like to go watch it. But this is a great deal. It is a great brand. It's my favorite brand of pasta. Absolutely love it. I'm sure we went through a spaghetti noodle too. I'll probably get to it in a minute. Finished off one of the Lipton recipe secrets. This one is the onion flavored and I think there were two, yeah, there was two envelopes in here. If you pick these up at um, Walmart or the grocery store, you're gonna pay more than a dollar for those. We like them, you can do many things with it. I usually, it says you can do soup, you can put it on baked, but yeah, oven roasted potatoes. You can put it in your hamburger meat and then make hamburgers out of it, absolutely delicious. I have done that in the past. But the majority of the time, what I do with it is make the classic onion dip right there is the recipe for it. It'll be on the back. These are still in stores, in some of my stores. So I've seen them. If you've not tried these in the past, it, it's the best bet's just to pick it up at Dollar Tree because it's so much cheaper. And I have a big old fail. I know you guys saw me haul these. I talked about them. I was excited for them. Nope. These are the snack appetizers. The name brand is Snaps, and they are the blueberry muffin bites. There's what they look like. Here's the nutritional value, which will just blow you away. It's got um, 1,090 milligrams of sodium. That's insane. I only ate one. We fixed them in the toaster oven. Was not a fan. I thought these were horrendous. Nobody ate them. We actually threw them away, so was not a fan of these and I'm not a fan of the strawberry ones either they're like the little donut hole looking things or what are they funnel cake bites the strawberry funnel cake bites not a fan just not a fan so that was a big old fail I went through because they didn't have the Barilla once I did pick up the Columbia brand and this is in the elbow noodles and in this one you get 50% more than you do in the others 
it's good. I mean, I'm not going to seek it out and purchase it. If they've got the Barilla noodles, I'm going to get them. But these are just as good, especially if I'm making macaroni and cheese or if I'm making a pasta salad. I can use these in a pinch. They're not my absolute favorite, the Barilla are. But I will use these so they're good. If you need them, give them a try. Okay, Dollar Tree has the cassava pops in and I think they're in, in three different flavors right now. These are gluten-free. They're sort of, they're similar to chips, but they're called pops. They're not like a potato chip. <laughs> Anyways, these are good. They have them in the Luau barbecue, which is sweet and tangy. They have them in, I think, a volcano flavor and also like an original flavor. I've picked up the Luau BBQ. I like them. I ate the first one. I was like, mm, no. And then I just kept eating them because there was something about them that just made you keep eating them. Once you've ate a few, there's a little bit of heat to it, but it's a sweet heat. It's just weird to explain. I like these and I have picked them up again so you might want to give these a shot I also finished off not me but the family uh, one of the Betty Crocker peanut butter naturally flavored cookie mixes these have no colors no artificial flavors and no preservatives this was the big family size pack these are delicious I have seen these at Kroger since buying these and at Walmart and they are way more than a dollar um, we don't have any more, sadly, but I liked them, and if I see them again at Dollar Tree, I will be picking those up. Okay, now some non-food items again. This is the Daily Defense 3-Minute like Leave-In Conditioner. It's sulfate-free. Here's what it looks like. Um, I have several of these. I actually like these for Briley's hair. They are 5 fluid ounces. Quincy's trying to escape. Um, coconut oil and vitamin E. It smells amazing. It smells just like coconut. I like to put it on the ends of her hair and then she can just rinse it out when she's ready. It's a deep conditioner. It says it's a frizz defense too and she does have some wavy hair. But I like these and I have repurchased them. I think we still have like two or three in the pantry. Um, we finished up, I know I never show you guys toothpaste for some reason, but the majority of my toothpaste doesn't come from Dollar Tree, but lately it has. And each one of us has our own toothpaste, so it like takes forever to go through a toothpaste. But I finished up one of the Crest Pro Health toothpaste. This was the seven fluid ounce. This was a huge thing of toothpaste. So for a dollar, it was a great deal. It says uh, Crest Pro Health fluoride toothpaste for anti-cavity sensitive and enamel shield. Again, a dollar was a great deal, but now since I've started doing some couponing, a dollar seems like a lot to pay for toothpaste when I can get it for free. So I probably won't be doing that again. Okay, this is the shatter resistant screen guard. It's got tempered glass, ultra sensitive touch technology, and this one fits the Samsung Galaxy S5. That's Briley's play phone. It's not hooked up, so she can't call out. But she plays with it. It's an old cell phone, and we like to keep it protected so she doesn't crack the screen. And these work great for us. We've had zero issue, and I highly suggest them. If you don't want to pay $30 for a screen protector, go for it. I have the Galaxy Samsung 7, and I've never had a screen protector on mine, and I still don't have a scratch. I think I've had that thing like two or three years now. But anyways, went through, I think, just one pack of the Ultra Shine dish detergent packs this month. And that was because I bought some Cascade, had a coupon, basically got them for free. Um, but these are really good, guys. I highly suggest it if you're trying to save some money or you just want to try something different. Try these. Just try them. It's the... Um, the Home Store brand, which is a Greenbrier brand, it says leaves dishes sparkly clean. I'm pretty sure I mentioned that, but you get 10 packs in it. But these are good, and I do purchase these when I run out of anything else and I need something, I buy them. And I went through more than two of these, but this is just the cat food that they have at Dollar Tree. 
This one is the Greenbrier Gourmet Cat Food, and it's the 16 ounce package, and this one is the Nine Lives, it's the 12 ounce. I usually buy both. I use a big Ziploc bag, pour them both in, mix them up, and this is what we've been feeding our outdoor cat that showed up here, Mittens. Um, I'm gonna have to just bite the bullet and buy our big bag, because I know I'm probably spending more on these little ones if I just keep buying them. But that was all the cat food I bought this month. Ha, told you I went through a spaghetti noodle. <laughs> I went through more, I'm sure, but these are the Barilla spaghetti noodles. They're delicious, I love them. I pick them up all the time. Okay, this is the chicken flavored crackers. This is Baker's Harvest. It is a Greenbrier brand. These are comparable to the chicken and a biscuit crackers if you've ever had those in the past. I love these, they're seven ounces. They're delicious, you might wanna give them a shot. They don't taste like cardboard. They don't leave a weird aftertaste in your mouth love this this was a, a big old no i got this for kerrigan and preston i'm trying to see who makes this this was the vanilla almond milk and it was the sweetened dairy-free gluten-free soy-free almond milk 32 fluid ounces 90, 90 calories per serving my kids must be um almond milk snobs because they hated this i it down the drain they wouldn't even drink it and I had to go back to getting them the name brand <laughs> ones luckily Kroger had them on sale a while back for 99 cents and I sort of stocked up but this was not a hit in my family if you guys like it tell me below I mean I didn't taste of it because I just don't do any milk products <laughs> so anyways <laughs> and these were the bean boozled jelly beans the belly flops these are just the little bags, um, the 2.2 ounces, and they have a random mix of good and weird flavors. It doesn't tell you which ones they are. These bags reek. When you open up one of these bags and you smell inside of it, I'm not gonna lie, this is gonna sound horrible, but it smells straight up like vomit. It is awful. But it's something fun that we like to do every once in a while is sort of just taste them and, you know, make fun of ourselves. So a dollar for these is a good deal if you're into that kind of thing, which we are occasionally. I went through one of the cranberry grapes. This is the Wilders and you get eight single to go packs. You mix these in your 16.9 ounce bottle of water. Um, one of my wonderful subscribers here told me about these. I had never seen this flavor before and I found it in North Carolina when we went to Asheville to Trader Joe's a while back. And it's good, but I am a huge fan of anything cranberry. So I was a real big fan of this. If you've not seen any of the cranberry flavors, they have several out right now. I probably got another one in here. Um, but I really like this one. They are sugar free. Um, they are naturally and artificially flavored. I am sure that these are probably horrible for you, but uh, me and Chris and Preston drink them. The little kids don't, just the big adults who, you know, can make up their own mind if they want to drink horrible stuff or not. Speaking of, I went through more than one of these, but only threw one in, and this is the absolute favorite in the house. This is the Crush single packs that go in your bottled water. You only do get six. Again, they are sugar-free. Um, me and Preston absolutely love it. This was Chris, my husband's favorite, but he can no longer drink it. We were noticing every time that he would take a drink of this, he would start clearing his throat, and this is why there's something in it that uh, aggravates his throat. He must have an allergy to or a sensitivity to, so he no longer drinks it and he's not happy. Here is the other one I was telling you about. It's the Cranberry Lemonade. It's the Wilders. You get eight packs in it also. It's a low calorie drink. All three of these are sugar-free. Um, this one was okay. I would probably not pick it up again. I'm not a huge fan of lemonade, but I like cranberry, so I wanted to give it a try. Um, so I'm glad I did. I mean, I drank them all, but I probably wouldn't repurchase it. But if you're a fan of lemonade, grab it, guys. You might want to try that. And here's the other one. I went through a lot of these this past month. Um, this one is the strawberry lemonade. 
same thing it's the Wilder's Light it's sugar free except with this one you got 10 packs in it I think they're cutting down they used to be 10 now I think they're going to all eight and even in some like the crush they're at six so pretty soon you're just gonna be paying a dollar for one little packet I know it um these are just five calories per pack. This one I liked better, I think, than the cranberry lemonade one because it was a little sweeter. But again, not a huge fan of lemonade. I don't know why I bought two, you know, strawberry lemonade. What was it? Cranberry lemonade? Yeah, I don't know why I bought two lemonades because I'm not a huge fan of lemonade. I have a tendency to do that in the summer. But they were good. If you like things uh, that are a little bit sour like lemonade, then you'll probably love these. Give them a shot. Holy cow, apparently I was trying to divert away from the Strawberry Crush and try some new stuff because here's the Kool-Aid one. This one is, it says it's new, zero sugar Kool-Aid on the go, and this one is the Tropical Punch. It was delicious, absolutely loved it, will definitely be repurchasing this one. This one had six packets in it, um, it just tasted like Tropical Punch Kool-Aid. So I like it. Again, sugar-free. It's made by Kraft. Um, this one is zero calories though, zero sugar. So, you know, it's got aspartame in it. I'm sure it's horrible for you. Again, I drink it, not the kids. So, and went through only one cereal from the Dollar Tree this past month. Shocker, I know. And it was the Spring Edition Reese's Puffs. Guys, we were getting these for a dollar. That was such a great deal. Um, I did pick up like three of them, I think, because this is Chris's favorite cereal to eat as just a snack. You know, if we're watching TV instead of eating chips, he'll eat something like this. Um, but we went through one of these. They absolutely loved it. Was thrilled to find it at Dollar Tree. I've not seen any more there in probably a month. I go through a lot of pasta, guys. Love it. Um, I'm going to finish up on the food because I've only got two items, and then I'll show you the other stuff. This was the McCormick Simply Better Chicken Gravy. Right there it is. It was in like a little box. Like, it was weird, so I just had to, you know, squeeze the whole box and pour it out. This was good. Um, would I buy it again? Probably not. It's good for you too though. It's gluten free, no MSG added, and no artificial flavors. Um, it is the 12 fluid ounces. I used this when I made the KFC bowls by Amber, Anchor Amber. Those things are absolutely amazing. So I used this on them, but for a dollar I probably wouldn't buy it again. I like for some reason the little packets of the chicken gravy and stuff like that and then you just mix with water whisk it up on your stove and make them and they're like 30 cents i like those better i don't know if it's just habit or what but these were good and they're good for you and it's a great deal for a dollar okay and the last food item is something i should have probably showed it first but it was all the way on the bottom and it was some more bread these were the Cobblestone Bread Company Philly Steak Rolls. Love these. Love when I can pick them up at Dollar Tree. I missed the bread truck this week because I just was not in the mood to get out of the house. It was rainy and nasty, so I don't have any bread. I'm going to have to wait till the bread truck comes back in. But this one is the Philly Steak Rolls. Absolutely delicious. They also have them in the wheat. I would picked up some of those in another haul just recently. I love getting my bread there. I've said it a million times. Now some non-food items. Um, this is the Final Touch Fabric Softener. This is the 35 fluid ounce. It smells amazing. Um, it's not too strong. It's not overpowering like some other softeners. I do still have three of these. Um, it is good. I do use it, but I probably won't be repurchasing it again. It's because I've started doing some couponing and I can get my other softeners name brand like Gain and this is a name brand though, but like Gain um, and Downy I can get for mere pennies, but this is good if you need it and you don't coupon. Um, I went through just one of the hand soaps and this, you can't tell, is the Clar and Danver foaming hand soap in the fresh scent. It is 11.25 fluid ounces. They also have this in a pear scent. Oh, this looks awful. It's been out in this building right here. Um, <laughs> but I absolutely love these. Um, I don't 
I used to buy all the time the foaming hand soap from Bath and Body Works, but now I pick these up because they're so much cheaper and they foam. They re do really good. I absolutely adore them, so I buy those now. I did go through one of these. This is the Scrub Buddies, and this was the bonus pack. You get 10 instead of 8, and these are like the, it says, Wet Sweeper Cloth Refills. So, they're supposed to, does it say? No. Oh, yeah. Fitz Swiffer. So, they're supposed to be comparable to the Swiffer. I like them to use on the floor just to wipe up stuff. And this is the Gillette Venus Olay Sugarberry Bliss. Dollar Tree had these months ago and I stocked up. Me and Kerrigan finished this one off. Absolutely love it. If they have them there again, I'll probably pick them up if I run out. And Chris went through a toothpaste. This is his favorite. This is the Crest 3D White Radiant Mint. And this is only the 2.5 fluid ounce one. They're the really small ones. But like I said, everybody in the house has their own toothpaste. So it takes forever to go through one. But oddly enough, me and Chris both went through one this month. This is his favorite. This is an amazing toothpaste if you are shopping around for toothpaste i mean this is a great one he absolutely loves it it's the only one he'll use and if i pick up something different he's not happy about it okay these are the assured brand nasal strips that you get six in them they are for sensitive skin they have smart flex technology drug free not made with natural rubber latex this is what they look like. Um, they go across the lower part of your nose right here. It expands open your nasal passages and it helps you to breathe better instead of just feeling stuffy. We absolutely love these. We went through about three boxes this past month. I only used two little strips and Preston used the rest. These are his absolute favorite product on earth at this point. He likes them better than Pop-Tarts. Um, so anyways, these are comparable to the name brand. What are they? The Breathe Right Strips. They are comparable, but a lot cheaper. So love these guys. Give them a shot. Went through one of the Good Sense Zipper Seal Sandwich Bags. This was the 45 count. Always check and get your bonuses because the Dollar Tree usually has bonus packs. Um, the Good Sense, I don't think it's my favorite as far as sandwich bags. But Chris brought these home with him when he was out on the road. So we went ahead and finished them up. I think it's the Surefresh. So it's called. I think that's the brand I like better. These worked just fine once I got a bad batch. And you know how you can be. You can be influenced by stuff like that. So, I mean, I got a bad batch once. And so I've just not gave it a second try. But since Chris bought them, we used them up. They're okay but I won't purchase them um, just to be buying them, if that makes sense. Went through one of the Assured brand acetaminophens. Um, this one is the 40 caplets and Quincy got a hold of it. I don't know if you can see it, but man, he, yeah, he got a hold of it looks horrible um it says it's comparable to the extra strength the tylenol caplets i buy these at walmart now since i have to go in that dreadful place <laughs> and they're like 98 cents or something like that but these are good uh, they work just as well as tylenol and if i need them i will pick them up at dollar tree went through one of the super glues this is the original super glue you get 0.1 ounce and i use these to put on my sassy and chic nails this is the glue i use guys it's in the hardware section you get a little two pack it lasts forever if you want to know anything about my sassy and chic nails how i get them applied and how i get them to last so long i will put that link below in the description box so you guys can watch it but this is it. This is the good stuff. And oddly enough, I only went through two of the old Williamsburg candles this past month. I think it's because I've been using um, the wallflowers from Bath and Body 
so I've not had to light any candles lately. But this is one of my all-time favorite scents. This is the Old Williamsburg Candle in the Peach Bellini. Oh, this, this smells like just straight up candy. I love this one. It is in an absolutely adorable little mason jar with the lids. So you can always repurpose these. And I also went through the Honey Dew Melon. It did not burn as well. I mean, it went all the way to the bottom, but you can see it didn't burn. On Cold Snip, this thing smells amazing. It does not have a wonderful throw. It's not gonna make your whole house smell great. Um, but if you have like a small room, it will. This one, this this one has a, an amazing throw. It makes several rooms in my house smell good. But these are my favorite candles, not just the Old Williamsburg, because the Old Williamsburg brand makes several different kinds of candles that you will find at Dollar Tree, but it's the ones in the mason jar that are my absolute favorite. If you are still here and watching, you are amazing. Thank you so much. That is all the empties I have for the month of July. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope everybody had an amazing summer. Our summer's over because the kids start back to school at the 1st of August. I always dread August because I know the kids go back to school. I'm that mother who would love to have their kids home 24 seven if I could. I cry when they start back to school. They're fine with it. They're excited. I'm the one that's crying. But I will be back soon with a Dollar Tree haul. If you'd like to watch some more of my Dollar Tree empties videos, I will link that playlist up here in one of these corners so you can watch it. Thank you guys so much for watching and sticking it out with me. I will see you next time. Bye.